Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, fellow commanders, airmen, and of course our new honorary commanders. Thank you. Absolutely. It's Steph Strickland, S-T-E-P-H, S-T-R-I-C-K-L-E-N. And what is your duty type? So I am a broadcaster and I do a lot of work in public affairs and also helping out with uh, the military at air shows across the country. All right. Uh, can you tell me about what it takes to be uh, an honorary commander? How did you end up getting selected? Is there certain qualities that we're looking for? For me, I think it was an opportunity to help develop some more of the messaging that's important here as the base gets ready to transition into the F-15EX and really wants to help communicate that to the public. I've worked in TV news here for 20 plus years, so I understand how to bridge the gap between what happens here on the base with the 1,400 service members who are here against what goes on in the outside community that maybe doesn't always have a chance to see um, how it comes together. So I think obviously good business connections, um, the willingness to do the job, it's a volunteer job, a great honor and a privilege, um, and just to be able to lead with integrity and try to offer a little bit of your contacts, your business contacts in the community, as well as just supporting the men and women who are here on base as best you can. Well, how does it make you feel that you were selected as an honorary commander for the 142nd Wing? It's hard to put into words. It's, it's maybe one of the, the most, it's the coolest thing I think that's happened to me in a very long time, both professionally and personally to be recognized here by this base and to become a part of the family and to serve something greater than myself. Um, and to feel like I can truly give back in a way that, that benefits us here in my own backyard and the important mission it is that everyone here does. To say it is an honor is an understatement. I don't have the right words to describe it. <laughs> 